Welcome back again guys. In this video we will be talking about keystone species. And in very briefly what is keystone species? You probably heard this name earlier. Keystone species uh, is a type of species uh, which is uh, some species, I mean some species available in the environment, in the ecosystem which are uh, having an exceptionally great importance for other species surrounding that species relative to its abundance. That means the number of keystone species is very important for other species that are available surrounding the keystone species and that is a very true thing because uh, this is the star of all the, all the other species because the abundance of keystone species will help many other species to live and thrive together. Okay, So, let us give you a simple example uh, to explain the whole thing. Uh, sea otter is an example of keystone species, sea otter. If we take about sea, talk about sea otter, sea otter, why it is a keystone species? Let us assume a simple scenario. Uh, in, uh, in, in ocean, in most of the regions, you see there are kelp forests. Kelp means you know, it is a, it's a type of uh, plant, uh, kelp. Kelp uh, can present throughout, it is a kind of uh, algae, it is a type of algae, kelp. So, kelp produces kelp forest in the ocean, under the water, underwater forest. And this forest can be home for million different species, ocean species, vertebrate, invertebrate species, mostly invertebrate species there. They live there and uh, it is a home for many fish, many vertebrates and invertebrates there. The kelp forest is a home, right? It is a home for other vertebrate or invertebrate species. Multiple examples are there. So, kelp forest is very, very important. So, if there are kelp forests in the ocean, we can find multiple populations of other species over there right as it is a home. Now there is another threat to this kelp forest and that is sea urchin. Let us write it here. Sea urchin. Sea urchin kills the kelp or eat the kelp. Sea urchin destroy this kelp. So ultimately sea urchin can destroy the kelp forest. So, if sea urchin destroys kelp forest, all the other, so the home for many species will be gone. So, other species, other invertebrate and vertebrate species cannot live because uh, if there are kelp forest, they can survive, they can, they can put themselves together and, and survive from the predator. As there is no kelp forest, the ocean will be completely uh, transparent. So, other, other fishes can take them, eat them. So, they cannot live there. So, if sea urchin is present, less kelp forest in the ocean, so less other species. So, presence of sea urchin is destroying some other species also indirectly. Now, sea otter at the middle eats sea urchin. So, as sea otter eats sea urchin, it can reduce the population of sea urchin. So, sea otters reducing the population of sea urchin, as a result, kelp forest can now grow. So, if kelp forest grows, all the other species can come back and they can also survive. So, presence of sea otter indirectly helping thousands of thousands of invertebrate and vertebrate species to live, right, and thrive in population, right. So, that thing, so presence of sea otter helps thousands of other species. So, abundance of sea otter, re, I mean uh, the, the life of many other thousand species rely on the behavior and abundance of sea otter. So, in that case sea otter is termed as a keystone species, very, very important for other surrounding species relative to its abundance. That is the idea about keystone species and this is true not only for animals but in plants also you will see these things and actually the idea is that in e ecosystem in environment 
uh, everything is connected every one of us are linked that is the idea of ecosystem and ecology right so here this is a beautiful example for that so i hope this video helps you if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and definitely subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos like that thank you